Oh, oh boy, oh boy. I, I'm legitimately just gonna record this and upload it. So basically, Mika doesn't do anything. Uh, I counted the hits, right? I counted the hits with the amount that Yula is able to do. And at level 70, he's not even providing a single attack. I thought that, you know, I, you know, looking at this, it looks amazing, right? 18% attack speed bonus. Great. Amazing. Uh, no, he doesn't do anything. I thought everybody was being insane when they were like, oh, he has like one extra attack. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. Out of a full combo string getting 20% attack speed bonus, he only adds one extra attack. No, he seriously only adds one extra attack. I... I mean, I guess I'll keep him like this until he's C6, because C6 is basically the only usable form of him. I, I, I thought... I, like, I summoned for him, right? I'm not like someone who's like, oh yeah, I knew he was bad, right? I did extra summons on Shinho's banner with the chance of pulling C1 Shinho, which would not have helped me out at all. I consider she, C1 Shinho just really made overall. I'm so sorry to the people that might have thought that, you know, Mika was good because of me. Like, I didn't... Nobody talked about this pre-release, right? Nobody. I heard nobody talking about this. I may not watch Genshin YouTubers, but I do keep up with the Genshin community in terms of, you know, what's going on. But seriously, I didn't hear anything about Mika being, you know, fairly mid for Eula. Nothing. And then he comes in the game and I'm looking at his kit and he's like, oh yeah, he. the one good thing he's done is he regenerates particles very well for Eula. I, uh, I say that he is pretty good for Eula, right? Uh, I do have, honestly, he's probably worse than Rosari. He's probably worse. Like, I, I just, I don't understand what they were thinking. Like, I, well, I understand what they were thinking. They they probably had a version of Mika where it was like 50% attack speed bonus or something. But they realized, hey, we can't just give 50% attack speed bonus to any other character. Because a character like Yoimiya would be insanely busted after that she would get so much damage someone told me i think in a comment that Jean at you know what c2 it's c2 right yeah 15 percent attack speed gives yoimiya an entire combo stream so i thought people were crazy when they were saying hey mika only adds one attack i just i might private the video that i did but at the same time i feel like if i private it it's kind of mean like you know hiding it but I'll have this video. I don't know. I'll I don't know which one I should do. But I'm so sorry to anybody who might have summoned on Mika. Hey, listen. At least you have him, you know, built somewhat, you know, for when you get up C6. Because I, there's please. There's no way that he actually is unusable at C6. I feel like, you know, he is very self-sufficient. If you need a healer for Eula, he still fills that role. But I thought he was gonna be way better than he actually is. I don't like how they made him but uh, overall you can i could still hold on here this is basically the only use case he has now so i'll show you uh let's just look at eula's energy you see that uh, all right cool fire and that's a lot of energy for eula considering the way eula's made and she only has 117 energy recharge that is really good four cryo particles i think that was yeah very very good i think that Eula should be fine. Eula with this should be fine. I'm not going to do a video on C0 Mika. I did, this is just adult summon. Like, Mika is so poorly designed for C0. Uh, I, yeah, I'm probably not going to build him until I get him C6, and then I'll make a video on him. But overall, Mika is just not worth it. Uh, he has no artifacts because he needs no artifacts. You could also run him on the uh, Elixir set, right? Or whatever this thing is said. Ex Exile. Not... We're not playing Clash of Clans. It's exile. Uh, but, yeah, we we should be fine. You know, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> this is really bad. I, I thought Mika would be so much better. Like, why? Who thought of this? The only way I think they could have made Mika specifically better for Eula is just be like, hey, yo, if you're a Mondstadt character, gain 10% attack speed. If you're a Cryo character that also is a Mondstadt character, gain another 10% and then he could have just sort of stacked up to that if you have blue hair have another 10% you know that kind of stuff uh, but yeah if you're a Knights of Avonius you know have characters have like category tags so that way 
a unit can come out and there'll be like buffing a certain unit otherwise otherwise it's just going to be like geo cryo animo electro and all those other elements those are the only things that define characters at this point except for you know sort of like lithic spear stuff right but other than that you know he's really bad don't summon like i he well he's not bad he's usable i he is usable if you want to run him on your eula team you can but i thought he was good and I've already stated that I don't like his character. So this was me purely saying, yeah, he's good because I thought he, he was actually good. This isn't me like biased on his character. I don't like his character. So yeah, I, sorry, I don't, I'm going to change the title of the other video. I'll print a comment also. Yeah, sadly, Mika really, really bad. I'll see you guys next time.